Hi, I'm Allison, and this is my vlog. Um, this week, we were tasked to read two articles from Rhetoric Acts in po Popular Culture, um, and we were also tasked to read a chapter in in the Rhetoric Acts Notebook, which was Chapter 7, The Resources of Language. Um, with the first article that we were reading, it was by Linda Seger, and it was Creating the Myth. Um, with this book, we were tasked to analyze how her writing used resources of, resources of language. And from her readings, I can infer that she used a lot of, a lot of diction because of the words that she was kind of using and how she was phrasing things she kind of really liked to phrase words so that it sounded like um there's a lot of eyes and we's just to like I feel like to connect to the audience and to make them feel included and to also kind of create like a sense of society to portray her per perspective on the topic and from there on, I thought that that was the primary usage of the of the um, <clears throat> resources of language in that article. Then the second article was by Gates, and it was on the Asian renovation of biracial buddy action. Um, I felt like he used a lot of also diction in his ri in his re writing. And then he also used some imagery to discuss some of the movie scenes. Um, and that was my main takeaway of what was used in his articles. <clears throat> Moving on to the chapter of to the chapter of resources of language. <clears throat> From there on, we learned that resources of language include use like usage of diction syntax figurative language and imagery in a person's writing writing ways um to go more in depth would be diction is a choice and usage of words or phrases in writing and for syntax syntax is the arrangement and phrasing of words to create sentences to give you the full impact and then for figurative language it's used as comparing two different things to make a whole idea come together <clears throat> and lastly imagery is just words that are used to describe a image so that the audience is able to see like a big picture um and then we were also tasked to yeah in addition we are tasked to also write out what types of language and strategies that were used by the authors from the two essays that we read and from there on i can say that i was able to analyze and decipher what was used in the both of the articles um, going back to it for Seger's article, she, I think she also used syntax, just like the words that she specifically said in her sentences, we live the same stories, whether they involve the search for a perfect mate, coming home and search for fulfillment, going for an ideal, achieving the dream, or hunting for a precious treasure. I feel like the word, the wording structure in that sentence was definitely strategically placed just because it flowed really well and I felt like that sentence really left an impact for me and I'm sure it left an impact for the mass majority of other people. Um, some other sentences that I can use from her example would also be um, in most hero stories, the hero is introduced in ordinary surroundings in a mundane world, doing mundane things. Generally, the hero begins as a non-hero, innocent, young, simple, or humble. And from there on, I can also infer that she used syntax. Thank you for listening.